Let us consider example two, where we want to determine the voltage at node B. What we have to recognize about this circuit is we have a voltage source existing between nodes A and B, both of which are not designated as our ground. Therefore, we're going to designate the node that is comprised of A, B, and our voltage source as a supernode. A supernode consists of two nodes connected by an independent or dependent voltage source. We can express the difference of our node voltages as the potential created by the source. That is, the difference of potentials between A and B is identically linked to the magnitude of our voltage source. We can say Vs is equal to the potential of Va less Vb. Or conversely, we can say the potential at A is equal to the potential at B plus that generated by our source, Vs. Therefore, when we solve our node voltage analysis system of equations, we will construct a KCL equation at our supernode, as opposed to constructing a unique KCL equation at A and B. If you did such, you would realize there would be a source current running through Vs that we designate by Is, which would link our KCL equations at A and B. To determine our node voltage at B, we will follow our standard four-step procedure. Step one is to assign our nodes, which have already been given as A, B, and C, where C is our ground, and our leg currents. I1 runs through R1, and I2 runs through R2. You could view IS as running from B to A through our voltage source. However, this is not necessary. Step two is to assign our voltage potentials consistent with our pass assign convention. V1 corresponds to R1, dictated by the directionality of I1, and V2 corresponds to R2, dictated by the directionality of I2. Step three is to construct our KCL equations. We need N, the number of nodes, less unity, lesser number of voltage sources. That is, we need one KCL equation applied at non-zero and non-specified nodes, i.e., we will apply our KCL equation to our supernode. Our KCL equation states that our source current IS is equal to I1 plus I2. Step four is to apply Ohm's law in terms of our node voltages. That is, IS would be equal to I1, which can be expressed as VA minus VC per R1, where VC is equal to zero, plus I2, which can be expressed as VB minus VC per R2, where VC is also equal to zero. We have two equations, one of which came from our KCL equation at the supernode, and the other from the supernode itself, such that Vs was equal to Va less Vb. Simplifying our KCL equation, we have Is is equal to Va per R1 plus Vb per R2. Our supernode equation, in terms of our node voltage at A, can be expressed as Va is equal to Vb plus Vs. Therefore, we have two equations and two unknowns. We can therefore substitute our supernode equation into our KCL equation, such that our source current is equal to Va, which can be expressed as Vb plus Vs by our supernode equation, per R1, plus Vb per R2. Therefore, Vb, our voltage at node B, is equal to Is times R1 times R2, minus Vs times R2, over the sum of R1 and R2.